Hey guys, so I finally did what I've been talking about for, maybe I didn't tell you I was going to do this. I did tell you I was doing something in my hair though. Um, I went closer to my natural color, it's sort of like a medium light brown. I really love it. I don't think the camera is going to really do it justice because it is beautiful in the sunlight. It's almost like a reddish up top. It's just really pretty. Um, I'll tell you all about how she did it and kind of give you more details and um, where and all that good stuff. Um, also, I'm combining this. That's why I'm making sort of a whole, a whole update video because I got a new camera. I got new lighting, partially new lighting. I'll explain all that too. I totally did not intend to get all that at the same time. It just kind of happened. So I got my hair done this morning. Um, I It's obviously like fallen a lot. It was all curly and pretty. It's not bad though. There's still some wave left. But yeah, it's been a long day. I'm so tired and I just figured I would do this video before I changed and got ready for bed and stuff. Um, my shirt keeps doing something funny. Uh, but anyways, about my whole setup and my area here that I film from, I'll show all that in a moment and my I'll talk about my camera and my lighting and all that. Um, but first, I will talk about my hair. Um, I don't know if you can really tell, like I said on camera, um, I feel like the lights obviously always make hair look a little shinier. I mean, if, if actually, I feel like it looks really shiny in person, um, but it makes it look just a tidbit lighter maybe. Uh, I really am so happy with it when I got it done I just had this feeling like uh, like I felt like myself again because for the past four years four and a half years I've been blonde and I just never really made that connection in my head like I'm a blonde you know I just never bonded with it while I loved it and I may go back to that eventually who knows um, but I just, I feel like myself with my hair this color, and I'm just, I'm loving it. It's exactly what I wanted. It still has some color variation. Um, you can really see, if you kind of look when I pick it back, or pull it back, um, the under layers are very dark. And what she did, um, so it'll be pretty like when I pull it back and stuff. Uh, but what she did was she did sort of like a, she said color melting. I'm totally not like a hair person, so my lingo is probably all off. Um, but from what I remember, what she did to it was uh, she put this just a solid like filler color on and let that process and then um, rinsed it, obviously dried it, and then we did another process with foils and two shades of like a caramel light brown. Um, I think she put a darker up here and then in the foils she kind of like I watched her kind of mix it I she did a good job and I'm really really happy with it um, and then it kind of gets a little lighter but I did not want to ombre I didn't want it to look completely like changey um, and I didn't want it to look streaky or anything so I just feel like it's perfect it looks really natural and pretty and I'm absolutely obsessed and loving it however I know it's over blonde hair, so it's going to fade, but she did it really good. I'm not expecting it to fade a ton, although it might, uh, but I'm probably going to have to go back at least, you know, one more time sooner than I normally would just to kind of, you know, to get it done again. Gosh, this shirt is like driving me nuts. I'm pretty much obsessed with it. I'm loving it. Um, and then I also purchased a couple of, of, of shampoo or shampoo and conditioner. Um, I got the Aveda Color Conserve, which is a really good shampoo for color treated hair. I have used this in the past and um, obviously they recommended it there. It's an Aveda salon. And then I got the Damage Remedy Conditioner instead of the Color Conserve Conditioner. This one is supposed to be a little better, a little more nourishing. So I am proud of those. Those were a very like splurgy per purchase. But I felt like it was going to be something that I was going to be using, especially at this stage where it's going to, it's important to take extra good care of it, I guess, with fading. I figured I would just go ahead and invest in some good stuff. The salon I went to is the Van Michael Salon in Buckhead. They were really great. It was fun and relaxing and yeah, I just, I feel so good about this. So I'm excited. Um, okay, so about my, these things are huge. I'm going to sit them down. About my whole like area, whoa, <laughs> redo. Um, glad Waylon wasn't down there. That would have knocked him out. So my camera that I was filming on before was a Canon PowerShot XS, X, S, X something. I don't know. 
filmed really great. It, it's a great camera. I've always been really terrified of DSLRs. That's what I'm filming on now. That's what I got. It's the EOS Rebel T5i by Canon. I went back and forth between the T5i and the T3i. I've always been afraid of DSLRs because I thought they're going to be so complicated. How am I going to... It's really not that big of a deal. And I kind of freaked myself out about it for years and didn't get one because I thought there's no way I'm going to be able to learn how to do it. And granted, there's a lot of things that I don't know about it that I'm going to learn as time goes on. But um, I know a lot of basic stuff about like, you know, obviously like white balance and aperture and things that you should just know that's going to help anyone really that has a camera. Those are like super basic things. Um, and I can focus, I can do the things manually, um, but like I said, there's a lot of things that I want to learn about it, but I've taken some amazing pictures, just goofy ones around the house, just of, like, sample things, and, um, I'm really, really proud of it, and it's what I used to film the husband tag that I filmed in my last video, and I thought it came out great, so I'm really excited about this camera, I love it, I was back and forth between the T3i and the T5i, and the T5i is what I went, was what I decided to go with. It has a touch screen, which is awesome. If you're like me, and it's hard sometimes if a camera has a really complicated menu to navigate, you can just touch it and get to what you want. You can even touch to focus on things, which is kind of genius, and I really enjoy that because if you don't always want to manually focus, it has an autofocus. Um, even for video, it it's just great. So. Um, a lot of people recommended that I get the T3i because they were like, you don't know anything about a DSLR. Why spend the money on an expensive one? And I found the exact opposite to be true because I would rather spend more on one that is easier to work and yet has more, maybe a few more features. Um, but the T3i is pretty manual. Whereas this one, you can do it either way. So I love that. I just turned one of the lights off and I think it helped. Maybe less bright is. I don't know. This is like guinea pig video for this camera, so we'll figure it out. Um, the other one that I filmed with Brad was perfect because it was like natural light and everything, but this is a little trickier. So um, about that, I bought this camera because I wanted one anyways, but over the past like five, six months since we moved into this house, I cannot believe that we've lived here that long. When I film in here, I have found that on a lot of my videos, my skin looks a little yellowy in areas, sometimes it looks patchy, when it's up close it just looks weird. And then I'm like, I know it doesn't look like that, but the camera was reading very odd. And when I was editing the other day, I do not know how I didn't notice this editing. It's harder for you guys to spot because, you know, it's maybe on YouTube or whatever, but I don't know how I didn't notice this editing. But I held up, it was a video that I didn't end up using, I'll redo it. Um, but I didn't end up using it because this bothered me so bad, and I was like, I've got to fix this. Um, I held up my Mineralize Skin Finish Natural, like my powder, and you could see yellow lines in it. And I was like, what the heck? So then I put my face on there, and the yellow lines was like right on the areas where it looks yellow sometimes in the video. So I was like, great, super. Um, and I even like got close and got back, and it, they stayed fixed. Like when I would move my face, the yellow lines like stayed in the same place can't do that um so I was like great so I did some research apparently the lighting that I was using was mixing and it's if you have like a fluorescent which I don't even know why I was using that like it was working and it always worked so I figured why change it time to change it so before this video gets like 18 minutes long um I asked my friend Leisha who is ex Sparkage on YouTube she has amazing camera quality and video quality and all that good stuff and I knew from a recent video that I had seen of hers, and I had just watched part of it. Um, she was, and I, did I see the lighting part? Because I went back to it. I went back to it because her setup was similar to mine, um, in this little closet nook. Yeah, I think I would seen, I knew she had lighting in that video of some sort, obviously, but I remember thinking, okay, I've got to make this little nook work, because it's like my vanity sits within another closet nook. And there's obviously no natural lighting, it's very difficult, and so I thought, I'll see what she's using, because in that video, she had just rearranged her stuff and had put her vanity and films from there as well. So, she had these little um, stands with these special bulbs. I ended up ordering the same thing. She was so sweet, I asked her about it, and she told me exactly what it was, and it was just beyond helpful. Um... But I actually used the existing light stands that I had and just screwed in the bulbs, even though I ordered the little things as well. I'll tell you all about what it is. Um, I ordered them from Amazon, and I'll show you in just a second. But 
be warned this is a hot mess that's the only word I can think of. it's not super messy but it's definitely not what I want it to look like in the six months that we've lived here I've done really nothing with this area there's still anchors in the walls from where the old closet system hung and I've got to pry those out and patch it and fix it but um but for now this is working and that's what this is so um let me show you what it looks like. All right, so like I said, hot mess situation, don't judge. You can see all the little things, oh, blurry finger, that I have to remove in the wall and all that good stuff. My yet to be hung little board that has, I haven't even, I don't even remember the last time I even pinned anything on that thing. This is basically what we're working with. Like really, really hard to light. I just use my existing little light towers that I had that were probably 12 bucks from Target. Um, and I kept my incandescent bulbs, which are these two. This bulb is the special one, um, which I'm sure you can get other places besides Amazon. Um, this is it. I turned off one of those because it made it look a little better. Um, it looks like that, and I'll post what it is below. So while I ordered the little stands that went with it and everything, it just worked so much better out in these. I mean, I don't even know mixing the incandescent lights with that. I'm sure isn't the best thing, but it's working and it'll be fine and I'll eventually change it if I need to, but it's good for now. I found that just the two lights alone, which is what she uses, was a little too cool and bright even when I adjusted the white balance and the colors with my camera. It just, my skin looked good, but it made my hair look a totally weird color. If I had blonde hair, I could probably do it, but it just looked weird and I just didn't really know how that was gonna work. So that is this, and here's my camera. Isn't she pretty? So thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're curious about those lights, um, I will link below to what they are. Um, yeah, I'll link to what I have below. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have a great and fabulous rest of the week and weekend, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.